Okay. See, you're at a distribution center, right? And a drive van pulls up. Like I say, I don't work taking, I don't work in stores, I don't work in the warehouse. When that, when that truck comes from the distribution center, they try to pack it. They pack it by hand, load it by hand. Me, owner operator, I don't have the time to sit in your loading dock for your workers to load me by hand. That's why mega carriers just drop their trailer for y'all to load it. I don't have the time for that. Time is money. Money is time. So I don't even I don't even excuse my French. I don't even fuck with drive vans. Because drive vans doesn't make me money in logistics. You understand what I'm saying? Drive van is for for food, things of that nature. They can make money that way. But on my perspective in move in, in business, drive van is only for moving. Drive van is for turning household goods to freight. That's it. That's the only thing I want drive vans for. I can take a flatbed and put a drive van out of business any day because I done did it. Now let me explain something to you. If you have to load my trailer, right? I got to sit in a loading dock. I'm my owner operator. I got a drive van. I got to sit in that loading dock until you load me by hand. Now, if you want to wrap it on pallets, right? If you're going to wrap it on pallets, you taking four by four pallets and going maybe four or five feet high, where I can take me a lift van, make me a lift van, keep inside my trailer, drop my lift van off, right? When you load it, I come pick it up with a Moffat and I can load myself and drop it off. Multiple stops, don't need no loading dock. I can pull my trailer right here. This is your loading dock. I can pull my trailer right here, stop. Take off my Moffat off from the back of my trailer. Come on the side. I already know where it's going. Take that pallet, put it right in your loading dock. I'm done. I'm gone. Time is money. Money is time. I don't fuck with drive vans. Only time I fuck with drive vans is moving. That's only. That's only time I fuck with drive vans. That's why I don't like it. People say, yeah, drive van. Nah. In my biz line of business, I can't make I can't make the money I need to make with a driver. Give me flatbed or Conestoga. Only. Only. And I'm being straightforward with you. I could take a flatbed and put a drive van out of business. Any day. Because I done load the trucks, offload these these trucks, these trailers, I done did it all. It takes you four hours to load one of those drive vans from the distribution center. It takes four hours. I'm not, I don't, I'm not JB Hunt, I'm not Swift, I'm not Snyder. I don't have 15 or one trailers to one drive. I don't have that. So for me to take my trailer, drop it off here, wait for them to load it, then I gotta find a driver. Then I'm looking for drivers. Then I'm saying I don't have, I don't have the drivers. Yeah, you don't have the drivers. You don't. So I drop my containers off. You load my containers. I take my Moffat off. Load up my own trailer. I'm gone. I'm gone. The time it takes for you to load that trailer up, I done load up, I'm four hours down the highway. By the time you load that trailer up by hand, I can damn near be in Washington, D.C. Damn near be in Washington, D.C. On a 14 hour window. I don't want the drive ins. That's money. That's money right there. That's right there. You got to hire someone to help you offload. You got to pay lumpers fee. All this. That's the money. 
I'm telling you right now, logistics, that's your money. If I was UPS, no sir. That's your money right here. That's how you improve your time. I will put you out of business easily because how they load it. You see these pallets? Look at how these pallets is. You see these pallets, right? They're gonna load it in there, right? Now, after they load it, the forklift driver have to come. Let me show you what he have to do. He got to come, he got to put load locks on top of this to load up again. I have a lift fan that's already eight feet tall. It's eight feet tall. You can put all this in that lift fan. And I can just put it right on my flatbed and keep it moving. I don't need no one else. And the only thing about the flatbed is that they complain about the cover. You see this right here? They're going to have a tarp. But with a curtain side, I can have this covered and another cover. And I can secure it better because I can strap it down to the trailer. Drive van, only thing you can do is put your low locks here or there or in front or back. That's it. I will put their drive van out of business. I'm telling you, I will put it out of business because it can't make me money. I'm not, we are in a logistics nightmare. So I got a contract and I got drive-ins, I'm putting, I'm putting you out of business. I'm telling you right now, I'm putting you out of business. You better get with the flatbed or curtain side if you want to do business with me because I'm putting them out of business because they, they cost me money. I got to sit in that loading dock for you to load. And every time he offload one, he got to get off the, he got to get off the forklift, move the load locks. No. Nah. Nah. Flatbed. Now it's something different. You're going from distribution center to the house. That's something different. That's something totally different. But I'm going distribution center, distribution center. No, no drive bands for me. No drive -in. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't even want one. Just give me a curtain side trailer with a more fat. We could do business. I will improve your time at least at least by 45 cents. 45 45 percent. At least 45 percent. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, I can improve your time with that flatbed than that driving. I done had household goods come to my loading dock from ATS that does household division. They load it up in this thing, right? And I also had to load household goods on a flatbed. When, they, when this comes to a store, when this comes to that load store, they pack this thing by hand at the distribution center. Do you understand what I'm telling you? They pack this by hand. So either you're gonna have 10 to one trailers to one truck, then your trailer's sitting there and you're looking for drivers because you got trailers waiting. You got freight waiting. I don't have no freight waiting. I got this. Only thing I got is containers waiting for me. A guy can have a flatbed and have a load maybe 15 foot and he can call me my broker right for land stuff he can call me and i said look i got i got five thousand pounds that's only eight feet he can come to me and make he's getting paid twice do you understand do you understand what i'm saying and he doesn't have to wait he doesn't have to wait He's in and out. That costs you money. This is what I'm trying to tell you. You gonna put me in this business. I know this business. I done load these trucks. I done offload these trucks. I know how long it takes to load these trucks. 
I know how long it takes to, to load a, a moving van. I know how long it takes. I know, I know how to, long it takes to fold pads. I know all this. This will put that out of business if you know what you're doing. This takes half the time to load. By the time you don't load that by hand, from here, we getting lower in the same loading dock. By the time you load that and I load this, I'm in DC. Then you got a 14 hour window. 14 hour window. That will put this right here is the money maker. I'm telling you it's the money maker. I don't want no dry vans. So UPS, you want to do business? Booyah. I can improve your load. I can improve your time. I can improve logistics in this whole country by that. By that right there. This right here cost me too much money. Too much money. I got downtime. I got a I got a 14 hour window. I got four hours. I got from a 14 hour window, I got four hours waiting to get loaded. Then I gotta deal with traffic. I get tired. I can't drive because I'm tired. Excuse my French. Fuck you driving. Don't want it. Now give me a refrigerator. I can take the refrigerator because I, I need refrigerated goods. But that drive-in, we ain't doing business. I'm telling you, I'm not doing business with, with drive-in. So you want me to improve, want me to improve logistics? Flatbed and curtain side. 